Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more Final Fantasy 16. Uh, today's gonna be Side Quest Palooza. After all the events with See, Ultima, we're gonna go ahead and start stockpiling these means. and doing as many as we can today. It's my old master. Uh oh. Seems right, that's uh, she yeah. enslaved her she found and she turned her into a weapon. And something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. I mean, makes sense. It's another kingdom, thing? right? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives. Balmer Dark. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her. Bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls. So they're the just like fled. stuck there and they're not turning the in cash. Is to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Yeah. Sid. I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. Absolutely not. While I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud. Really? I can't That's a rule? Those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. It's simply too dangerous. <laughs> We're going to turn down every side quest. To navigate the narrow. Does that mean I'm making an exception, but we travel together and we stay no longer than we have to. Yeah, it's my boat after all. I'm not gonna let you times. fucking fuck it up. <laughs> we save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name uh -oh. in the prison register. A name like a parent or something? Chadwick. A Chadwick Bozeman. R.I.P. a legend. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit walls. Ravenwit, we were there. That's the the big, big, big wall. The one can. that separates it from like the open I land. Pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. As do I. Nobody's tool. All right, so we're gonna just be picking all of them up. That way we know, like, like if some are in the same area, we can just go ahead and get rid of them. You know what I mean? The hour fast approaches. Ask about origin. My decision is made. I shall carry you and your brother to origin that the Lesage name might live on in honor, not in infamy. Even if I should not. Oh, your highness, you're not. Oh, you're your you highness, said it not. Yourself. You said it yourself. This is a journey from which I may not return, and yet I am resolved to go. Although he said that when he left, so how does he know this? I literally just saw that scene. He said that to Joshua after he left. He still heard him? Damn, man. <laughs> He's got satellite ears. Ultima took much from me, and he means to strip us all of what little we have he left. Must he be must stopped. be stopped, whatever the cost. He Sorry, must. he voice acted that. Thank you, your highness. <laughs> you are as over hasty as your brother. Save your thanks for when this is over. So it looks like all the main characters might have dialogue about origin, huh? Joshua's got a side quest. Oh, shit. Uh, Clive. Ask about origin first. This is it then, brother. Our last chance with Ultima or dance with Ultima awaits. Only the founder knows what awaits us up there. Indeed. But whatever we find, we shall overcome it. It would not uh, do to disappoint our friends. They all believe in you, Clive. They would allow you to the ends of the er or they would follow you to the ends of the earth if they could. You're wrong. My friends don't follow me. They spur me on. I couldn't have made it this far without them, nor without you, Joshua. You gave me your blessing and made me your shield. Without you, I don't know what I would have done. I don't even know how I would have survived. Jesus, I can't speak today. Even when we are apart, nothing new. You are always with me, and I trust you'll be with me now until the end. Of course. Whenever that may be. I don't know. Josh was probably going to end up dying. He's been so sick the entire game, right? I mean, you'd think he'd have to. And don't say nothing. <laughs> God is that. received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Oh shit! Something akin to it. Oh. How? Where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. That makes sense. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. Oh I'm shit! Anything survived down there? Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go... Now, see, this looks like an interesting side quest. Would you join me? Learn your your father's, like, will and testament, of essentially. Course. That's sick. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. I'm sure there's Very some well. great words for Clive. I mean, he really liked Clive. 
Even though his mom just despised the living heck out of him for not having the phoenix himself. Alright. Let's get a couple more. I think there was one over here. Yep. Hey, stop it! Gav's got something to say, too. Right. Origin, yep. Uh, about that. If there's anything I can do to help you kill this Ultima bloke, you just say the word, eh? You could promise to take Sid's name off my hands. <laughs> oh, shit. Oi. Don't even joke about that. Anyway, I thought you said you hadn't finished with it yet. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Now, if you wanted to give me an even grander title, something to rival your Sid the Outlaw, that'd be a different story. Let's see. Gav the Magnificent, Gav the Almighty, Gav the Lionheart, something along those lines. I'll leave you. Uh, I'll leave that to you to decide. I'm sure you're more than capable of choosing the perfect moniker for Sid's right hand man. <laughs> right hand man, eh? I'll take it. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's always been there. He's been the scout. He's gone ahead and found out any information Sid really needed. Um, you know, all that was all Gav. You know, we wouldn't have half the information in the game without Gav himself. So, honestly, fitting. Ask about origin. You sent, uh, you sent on this plan of your then. I am. You never were one to shy away from a fight. Some might say it runs in a family. <laughs> your father would be proud. Thank you, Uncle. I know he'll be with us up there. As for down here, you may take comfort in the knowledge that the realm will be in my capable hands until your return. <laughs> Indeed. Three's company. Alive, my boy. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Oh yeah, from the side quest we did for Rutherford, helping out all the other like servants. I would have done the same. Like we helped out all the noble servants. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. You'd make a terrible nobleman. Truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests. I mean, it looked bad. You were right to be worried. I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Well, you'd hope wrong. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days. And without it, the people are bound to lose their way. Don't lose your quickly. way. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many. A lot many. Very, very many. There are two key areas to be addressed before any other. Okay. The realm's armies and her larders. That's a larder. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order. Namely, yes. uh, such cases the walls and Northreach. And, north and yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. 100%. And they need to band together against these wraiths and revenants and Akashi. down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. I agree. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I so we just make I one huge army? The lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. <laughs> but I do know someone the high commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugene Havel, who's this? Eugen Havel. Oh, Eugen. That's not Eugene, that's Eugen. What a strong-ass name. An Akashic army tore through oh, that's the guy that he wants to go enlist file. the soldiers, though. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it... I've already spoken with him on the matter. Right, yeah. the, the little and he's cut scene we saw with help. it. On one condition, that he first speaks with you personally. Yeah, he was saying he doesn't want to just follow any, like, haphazard person. Frustratingly rigid principle, and he has certain qualms about clasping arms with, well, with an outlaw. Yep, he said that I too. I told your many virtues as best I could, of course, but the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. Which only makes Keep sense. Mind you, my boy. 100%. I mean, we need an army. I wonder if this changes, like, the outcome of the game somehow, or the ending. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person... Because this was, like, a major so plot it. point. It wasn't just, That's like, oh, yeah, it's a side quest. For we needed uh, the whole reason that Stardust. Uncle Byron left before he reached Walode or even went through the narrow the is because he wanted to I'll go to Rondelau to talk to that guy. Because exactly. he was supposed to have troops and he was supposed to recruit him for us. No, thank you, Clive. 
All right, so I'm wondering, yeah, I'm wondering if this is going to be like a really, really important side quest then. Because like I said, this was a whole story segment. It wasn't just a side quest thing. Uh, let's check out the shops and stuff, I guess. Still alive, are you? Oh, it's probably the origin thing that's really the new thing. Here's to your goodbyes, are you? For now, but you'd better come back or I'll fly up there and drag you home by the ear. Thank you, Karen. Didn't think you'd find the thought appealing. Look, just don't die, alright? A change in leadership's bad for business. Aye, you're off to kill a god, so what? You've done everything else you've put your mind to, haven't you? You, you can do this too. Well, that's nice. Go on, then. Lady Karen being a real goat right now. Finished, are you? Oh, Goots has something to say. We'll talk to Goots afterwards as well. Crack the crystal. Kill a god, save the world. I miss anything? No, that it's pretty much a plan. Not a very good one. If you ask me. Then... I can't say I've had much practice killing gods. Now forging kit to kill a god? That I might be able to help you with. Reckon it's the least I can do after all you've given us. And it's more than enough. <laughs> you can thank me when you get back. Oh, well, hopefully Would we live. Want? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm thinking like, you know, Clive's probably gonna die. I don't think he's gonna make it. That it. Joshua, I'm pretty sure is dead. Clive, I think, is gonna have to sacrifice is himself. I wish I could go up there with you. Doesn't seem right leaving everything up to you three. It's hardly everything. There's plenty still that needs to be done down here, like seeing to our stores, keeping Karen safe. Only you can do that, Gooch. And, and I will. Oh. I promise. I won't let Nan come to no harm, no matter count what. On me. Just like we're all counting on you to come back safe and sound. There's no one like our Nan. She can be a bit grumpy, like, but deep down, she's got a heart of gold. My ma'am, my ma'am, my, oh my god, I'm like stuttering. My ma'am and dad <laughs> worked me like a dog and still called me witless. Worthless waste of space, said, said it so much I started believing them. But then Nan got wind of how they were treating me, and she didn't like it one bit. Pulled out a big fat purse full of gold and threw it Your at their feet. Worth double that. She said, and if you lot can't see it, hand him over to someone who can. Wow, <sighs> so she bought him off her parents, or his parents. All that shining, glittering glill, and Nan said I was worth more. I've never been so happy in my and life. I never looked back. I started working for Nan right when they, right then and there, and I'll gladly stay with her till my dying day. I wonder, did she like you pick it up, or was like, was she just kind of like making a point, or was See, did she actually know? just buy goots? It was basically like a fucking slave trade, essentially, or like a fucking trafficking thing, essentially. I know it's not really that, but. It's wild that uh, apparently they just sold Goots off. So she's like, yeah, this is a lot of fucking money. He's worth more than that. I'll take him off your hands if you don't want him. Oh, I thought this was going to be... Remember, at the top of this, it was the mysterious stranger. I thought that's what this was going to be. But we're back with the kids here that we, like, messed around with the scales for when they took it from Mid's laboratory. Sid, you have to help us. With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? <laughs> no. Well, yes, but that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Middedal. She's been acting strange. Oh, Very we're finally strange. gonna take her to go She's see her dad? Her around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. In the clouds. I was just about to say, it's in the clouds, isn't said. it? said, in the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. <sighs> Right after she got back from saving you from Stone Ear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. Yeah, I mean, it broke through you a fucking really wall. Did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Middedol's inventions. Says the people who take them apart. Listen to her. <laughs> Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? A hundred percent. Who's going to put Miss Middedol back together? She seems really sad. It's gotta be about her dad. She never went Why to go see I his go grave. See if I can cheer her up. You do that for us. She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. <laughs> it's not a real dungeon. Come on. Aiming high. Aiming high. Maybe has something to like live up to her dad's expectations of her or something. I think there was another one down here. I think it might be Otto, but I'm not sure. What does this lady have to say? She's always talking about like being in love with somebody. This time, my heart has wandered hither and thither in search of the perfect companion. When all along he was here, standing right beside me. She's talking about me? I don't know. 
And she's been like talking about people like non-stop all game, so it's not auto. Vivian has something to say, we'll just close out her little quest things here. Back again. Oh, Origin too, right, I forgot well, about Clive. that. Are you resolved to bra brave the coming battle no matter the cost? I am. For only with Ultima's death might we ever find true freedom, and when we do, I'll be counting on you to help teach the world the truth. True, we do need people to do that. Naturally. But I'll need you to do something for me in return. Come back to us in one piece. For how am I to recount the true history of his world without a first-hand account of the heroics of those who fought to change it? We shall be all praying for your safe return. Everybody's saying, like, we want you to come back safe, we want you to come back safe. It's just raising a big-ass death flag. Who's this? Uh, curse breaker. I don't think we've talked to this guy though. I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the curse breakers. As you know, makes the sense. Wants to make a change, easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't why? Mind, but why this one? Because he wants to be a scout. Like Gav. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword but scouting we're few with the nose for that which is why we still rely so heavily on gav true if we can get another Since scout he accompanies you and so keep many gav out of more danger i thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for this is a good point by this breaks. random fucking curse Sounds breaker reasonable. so you're happy to oversee the boys test then i feel like i feel like this should have happened earlier in the game and then maybe well, you send this guy sometimes scout. instead and then you find him oh, dead who would have been Gav earlier, right? I think that would have been a good plot point. And now he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time Northreach, like the okay. No time like the present. I'll await you there. All right, I think we got all of them now from the hideaway. I think there's like one or two that are in offshoots, which we'll pick up when we hit them up in an inevitable Fish. side quest. I don't suppose they could have. There's one in our reading table, and then one at Mid's dungeon, maybe. I don't know if that's at the top or mid dungeon, so we'll closer. see. Otto has something to say about um, mm. the uh, the hideaway and the origin. No one around here is bold enough to draft enough, or draft enough to say I'm fit for the knacker's yard. But I sure as hell ain't getting any All younger. Take a step back. Let the fledgling spread their wings. Young gots as bright as the inside of a barrel, but his heart's in the right place. <laughs> His constant failures never seem to dim his spirits either. Reckon on uh, the same might have been said for me when I was his age. Giving me the room to fall on hand to help me up again, I never would have changed. It it have what it have been the gods leading the gods, Clive. <laughs> Assuming we made it this far. Oh my god. Just to go pick a fight with a bleeding god. I didn't sign up for all this excitement, you know. No. Sid did say the higher ups wouldn't be too happy about us trying to change the world. You've got me there. And if it ain't, uh, and if it, uh, and it ain't as if I have anything better to do, so no more lip out of me. But it's the lip that keeps us on our toes, Otto. Is that right? <laughs> Is that right? Well, I'd better start looking for someone else to moan about then, hadn't I? I'll be here if you need. Let's me. check the bounty board. Let's make sure there's no new bounties. I think we took them all, but let's just like triple double check here. Uh, view the hunt board. As far as the Moogle hasn't told us anything, like. Even jokingly about what's going on with Ultima, right? Because he likes making a lot of jokes about things or like, you know, making light of situations. But it looks like there's someone over here. It's probably um, Darja who has some dialogue here. Oh no, this is Jote. Oh, this is the pregnant lady. Ask about Origin. My lord. You are resolved to go then. I am. And so is Joshua. I know you fear. Uh, you fear for him, but I'll do everything in my power to keep him safe. I do not doubt it. You are and always have been his first shield. I was only ever his temporary protector. Now his grace has bade me protect the highway instead, and that's what I shall do. Thank you, Yote. May you return safely. To us, my lord. Both of you. Ask about Joshua. His grace and I. Often spoke about our, our, our travels and certain sayings of his remains with me even now. Duty is the enemy of At freedom. First. I thought that spoke of his own plight. That though he was able to roam the land again, his duty to unearth the truth about Ultima prevented him from being truly free. But I came to understand that he spoke not of himself, but it of was me. My duty to him. That his grace judged me to, uh, judged to be in inimical to my own freedom. I believe that this is why he bade me remain here, that I might as last be released from my duty to him. Few others in his position would allow for the cares of humble attendant to weigh so heavily upon them nor take such drastic action in response 
Have care, my lord. Forgot Thank about this you. lady, Edda. Good Thank lord, you, my lord. For taking me in. Everyone here has been so kind. It reminds me of home. Hmm. I wonder if there'll be any developments with Edda and why she survived, right, Tharja? Clive, I wanted to give you something for the kindness she oh, showed Oh, shit! Mentor. And there was no, like... You know, there was nothing she What's really... This? A chest of all the medicines you're ever likely to need. Seeing as you're so reluctant to come to the infirmary, <laughs> I thought you might as well take a part of the infirmary with you. I'm sure it will be very helpful indeed. Entire. Try not to work too hard. And work Rodrigue all the harder, you mean? He's a quick study, but he's got a long way to go yet. I'll take that particular piece of advice when you heed it yourself, thank you very much. <laughs> Besides, True. Who else is going to see that your brother takes his medicine? Who oh, indeed. So after cutting, we would have completely just, you know, not gotten. And we got an item. Uh, where at? I always get confused with this. I'm not going to lie. It's over here. Medicinal chest. Hold on, hold on. Medicinal chest. Curiosity. Oh, it's in Clive's chambers. Ah. Oh. I wonder if we have to go talk to people then. Like, she wasn't a pop-up. She was not a quest pop-up. Nothing. So I wonder if we have to find some of those people to, um, and, like, go talk to them and see if they'll actually give us something. A beautifully carved chest that opens to reveal countless compartments full of tonics and tinctures. Seeing as you're so reluctant to come to the infirmary, I might, I thought... I thought you might as well take a part of the infirmary with you. This way in class chambers. Hmm. So I'm wondering if some of the people we did side quests for, we just have to talk to them again and then they'll give us the missives. Ah. Alright, that's probably why we haven't gotten a, a handful of them. I mean, the first stat that comes to mind is Lubor's Apprentice, right? The guy who was making a blade with Dalamil Spirit. Maybe we have to go ahead, go to him, and, um... He'll end up giving us maybe like the blade that he made for apprenticeship or another blade that's like forged with all the aspects that he wanted. You know, which whatever. I will not let them be forgotten. Herman, a curse breaker. Another curse breaker quest. Sid, may I have if we moment? don't have the room full of missives, of I'll look it up. I'll look up like it is an honor to find the people we have to talk to afterwards. My name is Herman. I've been with the curse breakers for some time now. And uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. And so I'm about will load. Do. No. Or will lewd. The lands across the narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why don't you just take him on the mission with uh, Doris? I need to, to free the something. bears. Something important. I was raised in an orphanage. The Badbach Conservatory. <laughs> the bootleg or Bad Batch from Star Wars. I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons damn we were tortured until we feared no pain tormented until our hearts turned to stone and few ever survived long enough this guy's got an anime backstory of the last king i can't imagine i lost so many i i can't even remember all their names that's messed up man but they must be remembered they cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured, every name recorded. Every it kind of sounds like what they would do to Jack in like Mass Effect, I think it was two and three. Sid, allow me. How they ran those kids through Ash like psychic experiments and stuff so they could attune so their powers. My brothers and sisters might live on I'll you go instead Herman but the fact remains that ash is simply too dangerous Sid please even should it cost me my life too dangerous for you Herman but not for me I'll go to bad back and find the registry you will I won't let you risk your life I don't know how to thank you you can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. V de Grace. V de Grace? I don't remember that one. In a forest. Overlooking the plains. Oh, it might be in that big open area that one village we saw? May the mothers guide you. 
All right, and I think that was it. I think we only have the letters left. So we gotta go accept a letter quest from our room. Yeah, but now that we know the missives are, um... What do you call it? Now that we know the missives, like, you have to talk to some people after you complete the quest for them. I'm, like, kind of excited to go back and talk to some of these people. Like, maybe Drazad? Maybe, um... Blackthorn's uh, old like apprentice friend will help or will give us something. It's possible. Oh, what's this? It's like a little text beam. Oh, it's uh, the infirmary, right? Yeah, we already did that one. Uh, maybe they'll give us something. It's possible. Oh, no, I didn't want to talk to the Moogle. Little Moogle dance. Uh, it's possible that, like I said, Lubor's apprentice will give us something. Uh, there's a bunch of people that we've done quests for that maybe they'll give us something or another. So, I'm really, because I've the whole reason I've been doing all these side quests high key has been to fill up Clyde's room with missives, and we've gotten almost none of them. But now that we know we have to talk to them all over again, maybe we missed out on a couple and we gotta go back and do that. Like I said, after we do all these side quests, if our room isn't filled with missives, I'll look up we away? why we didn't get certain away. ones, or, you know, if we have to talk to somebody certain to collect the last couple ones. If we do, we'll go ahead and do that. I'm also thinking of looking up the Aret Stones. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if those are important or not. I know they give you, like, damage boosts and all that, but I don't think they're gonna end up being, like, important collectors or anything. So two! We got two from our freaking uh... What do you call it? Our quarters. In a mood. In case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all his time of late in the rear deck whimpering like Gavin his cups. Something ate right and my gut tells me it's not to do with the supply of antelope bones. Karen. Ah! So something wrong with, uh, Torgal. What is it this time, Torgo? Why, why you sound like that? Torgo can be sad, bro. He helps you out so much. He, he needs some love, too. Can't just... Oh, what is it this time, Torgo? Helping me kill all my enemies and turning into a fucking frost town. What is it now? In search of a lost tome. Reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in a personal matter. Well, not reluctant enough, apparently. <laughs> I'll be at one that may be beneficial to your cause. There exists ancient texts deemed to so injurni injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime. Oh, shit. So it's kind of like those, uh, those books from wartime. Like, it's literally, like, uh, illegal to own some of those books. And it was a chance encounter with such a tome. From a distance that sparked within me a scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist your aid in reclaiming that text. Should you require a further incentive, know that I am willing to offer compensation for services rendered. Vivian. I like, I like her signature. It's not a V. It looks more like an A. It's just upside down V. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's going to be useful, why the fuck not? Maybe it's something on Ultima or something. Damn, I skipped that line of dialogue. Whatever, it is what it is. An inconvenient truth. Oh! Hold on, I'm gonna try to try to see what he said on the, the stream here. Give me one second. While the stream catches up, I want to see what the dialogue said. But yeah, it looks like we're done finally collecting quests right here, right now. So, right now I'm trying to see if I can catch that little dialogue and read it to you guys real quick. Hold on. It's almost here. Yes! Something telling me is more. This is this is no. Blah, 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 blah. Jeez, I can't read. I'm sorry, guys. He said something tells me this is no mere adventure story. He's talking about the book we have to find. Okay, so now we've collected every fucking side. No, we haven't. No, we. <laughs> You're out of your mind. Oh wait, no, no. These aren't quests we need to collect. These are like quests that we can start right here in the thing. Okay, okay. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. You know what? Let's go ahead and knock these out then, if that's the case. Because we kind of need to. Some of these quests, this you need to nice. get that first dialogue out of the way in order for it to actually pop Say up in the location will. that it needs to be at. And the whole point of collecting these already was to make sure, like, if it's in the same area, we can go ahead and get it. 